One of the most common things that I hear from people in my TikTok comments or YouTube comments is women saying that they've never had an orgasm, they don't know how to achieve the big O, which is really disappointing to hear because it's just an amazing part of life to have an orgasm, right? And that's actually one of the main concerns that women have when they go to sex therapy. I just can't enjoy sex. And I've heard from Dr. Ruth and many other sex therapists say that it's really hard to actually experience an orgasm with another person if you haven't already figured out what you like on your own. So this video is going to focus on how to achieve that big O on your own. I'm going to share with you three tips in particular that should be helpful for you. Most women who have a vagina can have an orgasm. You just have to believe in yourself and I wanna empower you to do so and normalize it as well because masturbation is healthy, great for you, and everyone should just know what that feels like to have that climax. Make sure that you watch until the end because I have a very special tip at the end of the video, a self-esteem psychology related one. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications. So if you've never had an orgasm before, you might not know exactly what it is. So it is this very intense feeling of pleasure that results from sexual stimulation, whether you're with a partner or on your own. Generally, when you have an orgasm, it's like this elevating feeling that leads to a climax and then a release. It's very normal to have your heart racing, body shaking a little bit, heavy breathing, heavy fast breathing. And just so you know, every orgasm is different in terms of intensity, duration, strength. We're all different and sometimes it'll vary from day to day or orgasm to orgasm. Like if you are lucky enough to be multi-orgasmic, which a lot of women are, then the orgasm, the second orgasm may be even more intense or maybe less intense than the first one. Something that's really important to keep in mind is you can't be too aware of what you're doing. This is true whether you're alone or with a partner, you can't be too focused on what's going on because you're not, you can't be too focused on your body or how you look or how long it's taking because anything that distracts you is just gonna keep you from being able to get to that orgasm. And it's really important that you don't pressure your partner if you're with a partner to achieve it faster because then they just really won't. So how do you achieve that orgasm? Honestly, it's whatever feels good to you. Everybody has different things that they like. If you've become accustomed to one way that you like to come, you might not be able to come in another way. But for a lot of people, they're able to orgasm in many ways. Something that a lot of people don't do, and I've heard about this before, but I've looked into it recently, it is actually really good to familiarize yourself with what your vagina looks like. So like grab a little handheld hand -held mirror and put it down there and then take a look at it. And I was watching this video and this uh, sexual expert masturbation guru, so to speak, named Betty Dodson, who unfortunately just passed away recently, a uh, really wonderful woman. She seemed like a really wonderful woman. She would help like many women orgasm, which is pretty cool. She said that if you were getting up to go out and you never looked at your face, like how would you know how you looked, right? So if you're going to prepare yourself to please yourself, it's good to get familiar with what your vagina looks like and see it as beautiful, appreciate your vagina and understand that you are in charge of your orgasm, like kind of getting your psychology right and having more love for your JJ is really going to help. And I noticed that my nail color is changing <laughs> because the temperature in the room is changing. How interesting. Anyways, as I've said many, many times, most women get off from external stimulation. So I'm gonna focus on ways to get that external stimulation orgasm in this video. If you're looking for a video on how to come on the inside from internal, penetration, then this video won't be for you. I'm going to be focusing on the external clitoral simulation because unfortunately for me, I am not part of the one third of the population that can come on the inside. And that's completely normal if you're just like me, if you can just come on the outside and you enjoy that, it's really what works best for you. Uh, you don't have to believe what it looks like, you know, in porn, you might watch a bunch of women that come when they're getting fucked without any external simulation. That, a lot of the time it's false. Most of the time it's false. They're not actually having an orgasm in the porn, just when they're alone behind closed doors off the camera with their actual partners. <laughs> they're just acting. So it could be a little bit tricky sometimes to find your clitoris depending on your anatomy. It could be a little bit tricky to find it because it has its own protective hood. So the clitoral hood for some people, it's different and it's easy to see. And for some people it's harder to see. So in my opinion, the best way to just like grab your fingers and then just kind of play around and see what feels good because if it's not as visible then it's going to be harder to find it but you can generally find it based on the sensation and make sure that you're very relaxed 
And let's get into specific tip number one. I'm gonna talk about using just your fingers first. So this doesn't always work for everybody. Some people actually need something like really powerful, like a vibrator, which I'm gonna get into in tip number two. But for just using your fingers, if you just wanna try this out, you know, make sure you're nice and relaxed. You can use lubricant, like some people like when their vagina is really wet, so you can use lubricant to wet yourself. But if you're already kind of like, horny and you feel like you, you kind of like feel down to like your hole like the opening of the vagina and you feel wetness you can use that as a lubricant on your clitoris so you can kind of like put your finger down there get some of that wetness and bring it up to your clitoris you want to generally like a lot of women like a circular motion this might not work for everybody but like very very typically they'll like a circular motion around the clitoris so you want to start off soft and then apply more pressure as your body asks for it, and then when it starts feeling really good, then kind of like bring up the pressure and the tempo of it. Um, you don't want to just go directly on the clitoris because that could be painful and just like, you know, like uh, tense up. Um, you just need to really like get some time to get aroused. So it takes your clitoris some time to get aroused for blood to begin to flow. So just, you know, ease into it. Don't go directly on it because you have to warm yourself up and it could be really uncomfortable if you're just like rushing into it right on the spot. And just so you know, you can use as many fingers as feels good. If you want to use one, two, one or two or even all four fingers, you could do that. Just play around with what works for you. Number two is using a vibrator. This is really helpful for a lot of women that can't get off from their fingers. They just need something a lot more intense. But as I've mentioned many, many, many times, the problem with vibrators is you can't make a habit out of it because you will become a vibrator addict a lot of the time. And you might not be able to enjoy sex with a partner because no woman or man can ever replicate the feeling of a vibrator, it's just so powerful. So don't become a habit of it and you find yourself getting addicted and not enjoying sex, then take a break from it. Try to see if you can come in other ways other than just using a vibrator. And if you're somebody who really just can't come except for when you use a vibrator, definitely see if, like, if you have a partner Ask them, would they be comfortable with you incorporating it into bed? I don't see why they wouldn't be. Some people are weird about that, but I feel like in a healthy relationship, someone should have an issue with that. Like teach them how to use it on you or use it on yourself while they're having sex with you or whatever it is that they're doing, because that will help you make it like a, you're sharing your orgasm with somebody else, even though you're needing an extra toy. And there's nothing wrong with that. Number three, probably should have started this one because this is like the mind you know, preparation. So maybe I should have started with this one for number three, but anyways, just take notes and then put this in number one. You wanna get your mind right. So for men, they're generally more like visual in terms of like, I need porn to like, and then to get my mind right. A lot of women are more like fantasy-like, like we like to kind of think of fantasies and play out stories in our heads. I mean, a lot of us like porn too. Like I personally really like woman on woman porn. That's what really, really gets me. Uh, so you get yourself in the mood, whether it's with porn, whether if it's reading erotica, I've never tried that myself, but a lot of people like to read sexy things and even try masturbating while they do that or reading it before they masturbate and then just kind of like taking your mind on a story just to get you relaxed safely there. Like the point of fantasy is to get your mind in a safe place to experience pleasure. So if that's what you need to do, then do that. Um, if there's someone that you've been fantasizing about, use that as a fantasy, just like whatever it is you like. If you really like getting eaten out, just think about the last time someone ate your pussy really good, you know, like just really think about that. Um, but if you're somebody that's never had an orgasm, of course that would be the case for you. I'm just thinking in like the grand scheme of people that want to have better orgasms. And just keep in mind with fantasy, like anything and anyone is okay. This is like your safe, this is like safe in your mind. Like you don't have to share it with anybody. This is all just for you. If you have a partner, Studies have actually shown that if you're able to share your fantasies with your partner, it does strengthen the relationship satisfaction and sexual satisfaction, but it's not 100% necessary to do that. You can just keep it to yourself. If it helps you get to that safe place and get your mind right, then I don't see anything wrong with it. Just know that some days are gonna be able to come really easily. Other days, it's gonna be really hard to finish. Don't be hard on yourself. Just, just know that the body changes and our hormones change. Sometimes it actually feels better to have an orgasm when you have to pee a little bit, which is really interesting. Sometimes we're hornier on our period. Sometimes you can have a better orgasm when you're on your period. Like all of these things that I've never really thought about before I've researched and I'm like, wow, okay. I'm starting to understand myself better. This is normal. There's nothing wrong with me. <laughs> if you're somebody that kind of comes too fast, you can try edging what I've talked about before. Like if you're just like coming way too fast, you might want to 
get yourself almost to that point and then stop and then do it again and then you can kind of extend the amount of time that you're playing with yourself without actually finishing and the last tip that i wanted to give and i told you to wait for something that could be really helpful is actually looking in the mirror while you masturbate so if you like your eyes then stare into your eyes while you do it if you like if it's just your favorite part of your body you want to stare at it because that's actually been shown to increase your self-esteem which i think is really cool so give it a shot you know uh it, it actually makes a lot of sense because like if you're in that moment where you're feeling really good which feels really good to masturbate and you're associating looking at yourself and like showing yourself gratitude like i love myself then you are like associating a physical happy sensation with looking at yourself and feeling gratitude and like loving yourself and it's kind of hard to explain but it's like this powerful thing that happens and you do it over time and then more and more you're like oh wow i'm pretty attractive i'm pretty amazing just just try it just try it and i want to tell you all that you have a homework assignment and it's to go masturbate and try everything that i've said in this video that applies to you that you think could apply to you i believe in you you are empowered you can totally please yourself and then therefore have better sex because i've talked about it many many times that masturbation makes you better in bed and it's just so healthy for you so please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications and i will see you next wednesday for another video bye